Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across an error message that the requested pause, continue, or stop is not valid for this service. And it might say this for the DNS cache, win management, or trusted installer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu and type in services. Best match to come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. You want to go down to the DNS client service and double click on it. You want to make sure service status is running and if not, you have to select the start button. And startup type, you also want to make sure that's set to automatic as you see on my screen. Select apply and okay if you had to make any changes to here. So if you close out of here. Next thing you want to do is open up the search menu Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match, go back to registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And now before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you'd have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location on your computer. So again, pretty self-explanatory. And now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start off by double clicking on the HQ local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the system folder. Same thing for current control set. Now you want to do the same for services. And now you want to go down to the DNS cache folder. You can also click on one of these folders and just start typing it in. And cache is spelled C-A-C-H-E right here. And now that we're in here, go ahead and again, double click on the DNS cache folder. And there should be a parameters folder. Go ahead and just left click on that one time. And you need to pause the video at this time and take note of our file path. You can see it up at the top of the screen. Each backslash is a different subfolder we've gone under to get here. And now we're going to look over on the right side here and right click in a blank area. Select new and then select DWORD 32 bit value. You want to name this value max cache C A C H E and then T T L. First T should be capitalized, followed by our lowercase t, and then an L. So again, max, cache, TTL, M-A-X-C-A-C-H-E, T-T-L. Click out of here to save the name, and now you want to double click on it. You want to set the value data to 86400, so 86400 numerical here. Base should be hexadecimal, and then select OK. And now underneath of that, you want to right click in a blank area again, select new, and then select the word 32 bit value. Name this value max negative cache TTL. The exact same D word value as we created before, except in between the max and the cache, it says negative. It says max negative cache TTL. Go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard to save that. And now you want to double click on it. Set the value data to 5, so just type a number 5 in here, and then select OK. You can minimize out of here. So basically, this just means that the DNS cache will be refreshed every few hours. That's basically all we just did there. So if we minimize out of here and restart our computer, And then hopefully at this point, if you attempt to run whatever command you're having the issue with before, hopefully the issue has been resolved. You can do one further step as well and just flush the DNS cache. So if you open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match to come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. 
And now into this elevated command line window, type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word. Attach to that forward slash out front. Go ahead and hit enter on the keyboard. It should come back with Windows IP configuration. Successfully flushed a DNS resolver cache. One further command we can run here as well would be to reset the Winsock catalog. So in order to do that, just type in N-E-T-S-H space Winsock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset. Again, exactly how you see it on my screen. Go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard. It should come back with we'll successfully reset the Winsock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. Go ahead and close out of here and restart your device. And there you go, guys. Hopefully that was able to resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.